Hello, I'm McGill Lyme, director of the AMD Microsoft Alliance. I'll be your host this morning as we demonstrate a new feature of Microsoft's upcoming Windows Server 2008 R2 Hyper-V. AMD and Microsoft have worked to integrate their hardware and software virtualization solutions to enable customers to handle the rigors of memory-intensive virtualization environments. Windows Server 2008 R2 Hyper-V leverages AMD's hardware-assisted virtualization technology, which helps minimize the overhead normally associated with virtualization solutions. Also, Windows Server 2008 R2 leverages AMD's advanced power management capabilities. In this demonstration, we're not only going to be moving a virtual machine from one server node to another while running workloads are active, we're also going to be migrating from one generation AMD processor to the next generation AMD processor. On the source node, we're running AMD's 65 nanometer Barcelona quad-core optimum processor. Whereas on the destination node, we're running AMD's new 45 nanometer Shanghai quad-core optimum processor. And because they leverage the same AMD core architecture and same socket technology, you can easily migrate to the next generation of even more powerful and power efficient processor. Well, let's take a look, closer look at this. Uh, as you can see by this screenshot, uh, cluster N2 is our Bar Barcelona. It has a six, the 65 nanometer processor. This system has two processors, has 16 gigabytes of RAM, and our other server is the second node, or as we label it, node one. It has our Shanghai processors, and it has these built on the 45 nanometer process. What we've done is we've set up a connection to our VHD, and we have they, this is our VHD running, and it has our videos on it. And we're running this video here now from that VHD. And this is what we're going to be using, we'll be running in the background, running as we do our live migration. Now I'm going to turn it over to Ed and have him walk us through the live migration tool. Great, thank you, Mark. So what we have here again, we have our two nodes. We have node 2 here running the 65 nanometer processor and then our node 1 here on the right running the 45 nanometer processor. And what we have is we have them together in a failover cluster. So in Windows Server 2008 R2, we have the systems in a failover cluster. In fact, we have them shared uh, using a single LUN in clustered shared volumes. And here the VM is called AMD Win7 Demo. And within that VM, we simply have the video sitting on a UNC share, and then we're streaming that to this machine. Now on the right hand side you see the actions that we can do and one of the actions include live migrate and quick migrate. Now quick migrate is the older technology where we did pause the virtual machine and move it over. But with our new live migration technology we can actually move that VM without any usable, uh, user noticeable downtime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and minimize the two cluster windows and here's that video that's running in the background. I've highlighted the virtual machine so right here I'll go ahead and say Live Migrate. And when we go ahead and Live Migrate, we'll see a progress marker here down in the bottom right hand corner. And what we're actually doing is actively copying the memory from one physical node to the other node and preparing for that migration. We'll continue to copy the memory and then at the last second we'll do a final memory cleanup and then the actual virtual machine will be momentarily paused and moved over without really any sort of network interruption as we can see from the video. And in fact we can go back from one node to the other. And one of the great things about this is we are moving from two different processors, two different processor sizes and families that share a common architecture but are actually different, allowing us to migrate a virtual machine from an older technology to a newer technology uh, using live migration found in Windows Server 2008 R2. Thanks Edwin. So together, these virtualization technologies from AMD and Microsoft create highly efficient solutions.